Neo shakes off chip shortage with more than 8,000 deliveries in June. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be discussing Neo and what have they done in June. The Chinese electric car company Neo delivered a record 8,083 vehicles in June, which is up 116% from a year earlier. This was the first time the company has delivered more than 8,000 vehicles in a single month. These numbers were up 20.4% compared with May. The data was released by the company last Thursday. NIO delivered 21,896 vehicles in the second quarter. This is up 111.9% year-on-year and marking five consecutive quarters of positive growth. This was close to the upper end of the company's previous guidance for the second quarter. NIO delivered 41,956 units in the first half of the year, reaching 95.9% of last year's full year deliveries. The delivery numbers for the entire 2020 were standing at 43,730 electric vehicles. For the month of June, NIO delivered 1,498 ES8s, 3,755 ES6, and 2,830 EC6. NIO's US listed shares are up 9% so far for the year. The company has typically been delivering more electric cars in a month than the other two US listed electric car startups, X Bank and Li Auto. Their shares are up about 3.7% and 21% respectively so far for the year. The strong second quarter performance for NEO came despite a decline in monthly deliveries in May from April, which the company had attributed to the global semiconductor shortage. However, the startup's current deliveries still fall far short of the industry giant Tesla, which delivered 184,800 vehicles worldwide in first quarter alone, and 201,250 in Q2. In retrospect, June was a great month for NEO investors, with the company's stock rising nearly 40% from below $40 to over $50. There has been a lot of talk about NEO possible launch of a sub-brand into the mass market. In May, a code name called Gemini first sparked the rumors, but in June, company executives said Gemini was not a sub-brand but would remain a premium positioning. Looking forward to July, halfway through 2021, the most important event of the year for NEO investors, New Day 2021, is not far away. NIO announced on Saturday that Hefei, Suzhou and Xi'an have been nominated by the NIO Day 2021 organizing committee as candidates to host the event. NIO launched the selection process of cities to host NIO Day 2021 on June 4th, officially starting the preparation for its most important event of the year. NIO usually holds NIO Day at the end of the year or at the beginning of the following year to unveil its latest models and technologies. At this year's NEO Day 2020, on January 9th, NEO unveiled its first flagship sedan, the NEO ET7. The host city for NEO Day 2020 was Chengdu, which was chosen by NEO users through a vote and was the first time NEO used a bid system to decide the location of the event. After a month of preparation, car clubs from 10 cities submitted applications on behalf of these cities. Through comprehensive scoring and discussion, the organizing committee finally nominated Hefei, Suzhou and Xi'an as candidate cities to enter the final voting stage. According to the plan previously released by NIO, July 20th to July 22nd is the time for the candidate cities to be showcased on the NIO app. From July 23rd to July 24th, NEO users can vote through the NEO app and decide the final winner. Thank you for hanging around until the end guys. Let me know what are your thoughts about NEO, what kind of month you think they had in June and what are your expectations coming into Q3. Do you think NEO stock will continue its rise and we're gonna be seeing perhaps a $60 mark 
or a $65 mark? Or do you think it's likely that NEO stock will go down to $40 once again? If you are interested for more EV content, I would recommend to subscribe to my channel and hit that like button. This way, next time I upload a new video about an electric vehicle company, YouTube will be notifying you. Have a good day everyone!